as some of the environments, the interactivity is paramount. Um, the environment must look and, and, and act in a similar way to the, the real environment. The uh, actual uh, visual content isn't as important as, as everything working just as it would in real life. By interacting with that environment in, in uh, virtual reality, you'll get a much better understanding for how it operates and you'll be able to navigate your way around the real environment much more, uh, uh, much more easily. That's right, um, a lot of people find it very difficult to uh, uh, believe that we're running on a normal PC um, with a normal PC graphics card. There's no sort of uh, fancy machinery tucked in there. We have in the past actually had to open the box to show people there's nothing in there. Once you put your web page up, then anyone who is on the internet has access to that page. So they can go to your page if they see something that's very unique and very unusual and exciting to look at with good graphics, sound, uh, in object behavior, shall we say, then you can download that and it gives that advertiser an added benefit in, in what he can show off. If I'm traveling around the country and I'm going to call in a customer and that customer has got a piece of equipment I'm really not that familiar with, I can then, by using my laptop, go into my company's homepage and access the particular part that I'm looking for and if, if that company has put that as, uh, say, perhaps a clip art object which has three-dimensional properties and object behavior, I can then download that onto my PC using the VisNet browser and explore that piece of equipment and find out information on it before I go into the client uh, and uh, I'm much more able to, uh, to help him solve his problem. I think unlocking the potential of the net is a really good way to put it because where you were using uh, pages created in, in HTML, which is just text and a few graphics, you're now going to have very rich pages created with three-dimensional objects, uh, landscapes, worlds, where people will have a lot of fun moving around as if they were really in, in somebody's room or somebody's office or somebody's factory. That's so right, the Motorola uh, environment, every time they train somebody on these production lines, it means taking the production line out of action. Um, bringing in, in faults into a production line is obviously something you'd want to be quite careful about. With the virtual modeling, bringing any faults that they want and train as many people as they want without damaging or taking out of action the real production line. And everything works just as it will in the real production line. To start the motors, I have to press and hold the button for the requisite num uh, number of seconds. Right, when I can start the cycle. I have to key in the right commands at the terminal. Yeah, the bathroom is um, uh, sort of an interior design uh, They'll use uh, the bathroom with uh, working with an architect and produce something like this. This bathroom is very similar to one which has been put into a, a virtual home, um, which is to sell apartments to people before they've actually seen the apartment. But they can get a much better look around than we would from a photograph. And we could lock, uh, we could lock the viewpoint to a particular height. And uh, as we came through, that would allow us to decide how high we could reach and whether we could reach all the controls and buttons and knobs and taps. We could actually interact with things and see how things will work. So you can use this as a marketing tool uh, or to, to test the ergonomics of a design. For example, whether we could actually reach these controls. The, the, the uh, office environment uh, is an example provided with the software. Um, it uses all clip art so that um, you, if you want to reproduce an environment uh, similar to the office, you can load in the objects which are used in the office. So all these objects actually exist not only as 3D geometry, but they have the behaviours and intelligence on them. So that if you were building a world and came across the need for um, a suitcase, for example, you could load this one in and it would work exactly like this. And irritatingly, the phone would ring brought it in just as it does here. There's even virtual fish over in the corner. 
being a virtual world, we can actually fly into the fish tank 